the Senate has a special role to play in America's recovery. Senators, colleagues and friends, each of us knows that this institution doesn't work very well right now. Each of us knows we should be taking a look in the mirror and acknowledging that lives lived in a politicized echo chamber are unworthy of a place that calls itself a deliberative body, let alone the world's greatest deliberative body. Too many of the so-called debates here aren't debates at all, not in the way that Webster or Clay, Dirksen or Chase Smith could even recognize. When we're being honest with each other, which usually means when we're on one of the very rare occasions where cameras aren't present, we all know that a big chunk of the performative yelling that happens here and in every hearing room is just about being booked for even more performative yelling at night on TV. It might feel good temporarily, a little dopamine hit to fire off a clever tweet or get booked on a supposedly prime slot, but honestly, almost nobody's watching and the share is getting smaller. Run the numbers. 99% of political tweets come from 5.5% of Americans. The primetime lineups of the three biggest cable networks almost never hit 2% of the public. So much of the performative BS that happens around here is about getting invited on shows that don't have an audience. These small, narrowly targeted programs run on outrage. It is infotainment fuel. Nobody goes viral for talking about policy trade-offs, and hardly anyone gets booked for a nuanced debate. It is performative, and it's beneath the calling of those called to serve in this place.